And um, yeah, look, I, I think I've always been the kind of player I always want my opponent to be at his very best because it gives me a very good indication of where my game was and and whether I've got the ability to combat them. So the fact that Mitchell um, Johnson was probably it was the you know he was at the height of his powers in that series. Um, he, he completely steamrolled not only us but South Africa. I think followed soon after that series. Mm. Uh, where he, he, you know, he had a, a a great series there as well. But I think for me, it was it, it's like no other challenge um, you'd ever face in in the county game. Um, that was the noticeable thing. I mean, yeah, people talked about the pace that he bowled at. You know, he was regularly over one fifty, one fifty five most of the time. Which, let me tell you, is it suddenly doesn't become a test of technique. It's more a test of ticker. Yeah, um, and but you know the thing for me is I, I the the one thing that I can take away from that series looking back is I mean yeah look I didn't I would never lay claim to say that I I destroyed Mitchell Johnson in that series or yeah. you, you know I ne- I can never say that I mean we were comprehensively beaten but the preparation that I did leading into that series I think gave me more of a chance compared to some of the other batters in our team who really struggled in that series because I wasn't probably so overawed by the pace. Um, It's something I trained for. As I said, I've been a county pro for 13 or 14 years at that stage, so I knew my game very well. I was 34 years old, I think, at the time. So um, I knew that, you know, this guy's going to come hard. Um, I'm a newbie in terms of test cricket, so I still have a lot to prove. Um, although I have a very good first class record. So the weeks leading into the series, you know, you'd find me somewhere in an indoor school, um, you know, facing high pace. And, you know, I took a lot of blows. I took a lot of hits in the nets. Uh, but it was all all in preparation for that for that series and making sure that I give myself the best chance to, to try and succeed. And I suppose it played out as it's supposed to really um he bowled as i said he bowled he was the best bowl fast bowler in the world <laughs> undoubtedly yeah. and we were a batting unit that were short on confidence short on form short of runs i don't i can't speak for other people's preparation i can only speak for my own but um it gave me a chance to to combat him and i think the i think uh, someone sent me the stats soon after the series that I think I faced the most balls from Mitchell Johnson yeah. in the series. And he only got me out twice in the series. So I could say, yeah, a tick in the box that it shows me that preparation is key. Um, you can never really take your eye off the ball in this game, um, which for some guys who played a lot more than me at that time, um, maybe underestimated how well Mitchell came back from his own troubles. Mm-hmm. 